Hi everyone, it's Andrew Mercer here from Deep Vision Studios. Thanks for watching this tutorial on our 3D Stereo Repair Kit. This tool is an After Effects composition with a number of controls built in that will help you get around some of the problems if you're shooting 3D with stereoscopic cameras. It's unlikely you'll have any of these problems when shooting with an all-in-one 3D camera, but if you shoot on a side-by-side -side or mirror rig, then there's a possibility, if everything's not set up perfectly, that you'll get some of these problems. So here we go with the tutorial on the DVS 3D Stereo Repair Kit. To, to start generally you would go into the edit section and if your 3D preview area wasn't already open you would click that and then you would replace the left footage and right footage with your um, footage you wish to, to actually fix. So again just a simple right click on your left footage and go replace footage or file. Select your left file on your right file, replace footage file and you would bring in those files. So that'd be your simple one and then for your render options um, you've got a whole range of options on your outputs so once you've actually done your fix you might want to um, output a left and a right, uh, you might want to output anaglyph which is what we're looking at here you might want to output an interlaced version side by side for YouTube etc etc um, however let's actually get into the meat of this and head over to the control section within the um, main composition area here we have our controls down left hand side which will um, resolve the issues hopefully hopefully resolve most of your issues and um, the 3d view here we're actually just using the built-in 3d glasses so you can select from a variety of previews if you wish um, we're currently looking at balanced color uh, colored red blue um, I've got a 3D, uh, I've got a, a LG 3D monitor, so I actually tend to work in this interlaced, but I can't really show it to you in that because you don't have it. You could work in stereo pair, although I don't see how you could really do that. So let's stay in this anaglyph view um, just while we work through the um, through the project. So we'll switch back to 3D controls, and then we're prepared to have a look at what they all do. Let me quickly go through the controls and explain what each of them does. Convergence actually changes the convergence of the images, so it will move the left and right images um, left and right. And as you'll see as we move them, you start seeing red and blue areas to the sides of the screen where they actually start cropping. Let me just reset that one. Um, vertical alignment, one of the most common problems with stereoscopic footage is actually it being uh, the horizontal lines being out because of the vertical alignment so what you can see is we can use this control to move the images up and down so hopefully that can fix a lot of those problems Let's set that back to zero um, here comes the plane again uh, left rotation now what we've got is we've got image uh, we've got rotation and image skill controls for left and right images I'll just show you one let's see the left image um, this isn't actually an exact angle, this is actually 10% of the angle, but this would be plenty to gen fix your general problems as you can see as we rotate it, it's rotating the image. Now you can actually do that for the left and right image independently. And image scaling as well, for just a single image we can actually scale the image up and down. And that gives you control over that. The final thing you might want to do is if you've actually changed something like your convergence, here's an example, and you've got your red and blue edges showing, or you, you obviously wouldn't generally be working in anaglyph, but here you go, um, you might want to scale, scale the whole image to crop that kind of mess off the edges. So there you go, just scale that image up. Then you might want to move it, as you see we've scaled up, so we're quite off center um, vertically, so we might want to also move that image up to fit it slightly close to the center of the screen. So there you go. Let's go um, into the next stage of this tutorial. I'll reset everything and we'll go through the steps of fixing uh, uh, the problematic scene that you see in front of you. Now looking at the image I can see immediately that it looks like the one layer looks like it's bigger than the other. It's also skewed because we can see that's quite close. This is quite far off. You can see that your um, horizontal plane has uh, kind of lost 
that's definitely the angles wrong so there's, there's quite a few things to do what we have in this particular image is we have also indicated where the screen plane is so you can actually set your convergence point for that so let's go through this first right um, first problem I think we'll try and fix is the rotation because that's probably the uh, worst one so I'm going to go to the right image rotation now you can either work on the right alone and the left um, or you could uh, you can just work on one of them I tend to just work on one and see if I can fix it with that um, so let's just angle this round a bit and you can start to see it as we angle it we're getting a bit closer so we've got that one almost in alignment and that one pretty good there so that's actually not too bad and we can maybe go just a little bit more see if we can see if we can get about yeah that's pretty good that's pretty good we've got about the same amount out there as we have on this side so the next thing I'm going to do then is try and fix this vertical alignment issue because as you can see here the horizon is uh, is pretty far out so let's try and fix that horizon I'll go to the vertical alignment control and let's move that horizon there we go that looks pretty good you can also see now that your text is actually start starting to line up so whereas previously your text was kind of the colors were apart you can see now it's starting to line up quite nicely but what we can see as well now how having done that is that the image is definitely too big because here your red and blue are misregistered um, in that direction and down here the mouse registered in that direction so it definitely shows it's too big so it looks like we're gonna have to scale one of the images uh, I'm gonna work on the right image and because we can scale up or down um, we can just adjust it there oh yeah oh that's looking pretty good in fact if you bear with me for a second I'm actually gonna get my 3d glasses on yeah that's actually pretty good in comparison to where it was yeah, that's, that's pretty good. In fact, in general, I would say I was quite happy with that. I'm just going to move it just very slightly. I'm just going to go into the convergence now and adjust the convergence very, very slightly. See if that... Oh, it's maybe a little bit small there because we can see the registration marks aren't quite right. So I'm going to take the image just a little bit up. Excuse the aeroplanes, as you know, if you've watched any of my other tutorials. You'll be used to that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Might be able to change the angle just a wee bit more. I tend to do this so I see it go further out and then bring it back in. I used to tune guitars and it's a bit like that. You go a little bit further out and then bring it back. Now, generally speaking, I would be pretty happy with that. You see, we've fixed all the rotation and scaling issues, so now we've got a left and a right uh, image that are actually the same as each other. One thing you'll notice we've introduced, though, is we've got all this kind of mess around the edges. So what I'm going to do is, down the bottom here, I have whole image scaling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the whole image up so that I can crop off that mess. And we're going to just keep going. There we go. So we've got all the all the mess around the outside. Now we've also got a control here. If we wanted to offset this, we could move it up, uh, sorry, down and up, or up and down, just in case we sort of tidied the sides and we wanted to to move it at all. So there we go. Just by, as you can see, just by using a few simple steps, we've actually taken a shot that was pretty much unusable in 3D, and we've actually resolved it. Another thing you can do once you're at this point, um, which we we use this uh, during the shooting of Cycle 3D, you can then reconverge it. So if at this point you want to use this to uh, to push everything back into the screen, then it's quite easy to use this to just. Uh, there we go. We've now put the zero parallax on on uh, where it says negative parallax. Or similarly, if you wanted to use this to bring everything out the screen, we could do that as well. So this is actually uh, this tool was came in handy when shoot, when um, doing the post production work on Cycle 3D um, for certainly for uh, re resolving um, convergence issues and then scaling to crop any any mess around the edges.
Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to visit us at www.deepvisionstudios.co.uk for more VR, AR, and 3D content. Thank <music> you.